Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I knew what today's weather was going to be like without checking any report. And, oh, yeah, I'm going over today's science file. Can you predict the weather at home? Well, that's a pretty wicked cool question, so try this. Take a look at this. Okay, so you probably think those dark clouds means it's about to rain, but uh, I can tell you for sure that it's, it's actually not gonna rain. You know why? Because I can see those birds right over there. Of course, you know, if them birds were to, you know... Ah, uh, hey, so, um... Well, actually, now it is gonna rain. Okay, well, also check this out. Those winds are actually a good thing. You know why? Because lately, we've been getting a lot of rainy, cold weather here. And those winds mean they're going to be bringing a lot of warm, sunny weather. Well, 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 you know, until like, you know, the whole, you know, the whole thing reverses. Do you remember to bring an umbrella? Because I didn't. <laughs> Okay, so you've probably heard an old poem that goes something like this. If clouds form at night, tomorrow will be a delight. If clouds form in the morning, here is your jacket warning. It's true. Believe it or not, that is some weather lore that's actually true. I mean, because there's a lot of weather lore. People come on, they make up all these little rhymes and rhythm things, and then they're like, this one's actually true. That's true. Whoa, it's true. <laughs> Okay, so how do we know that these weather predicting tips are actually real? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Oftentimes, people think that dark clouds mean definite rain. However, this is not always true. Dark clouds do mean more moisture buildup within these clouds, yet precipitation has more to do with atmospheric pressure, temperature, and humidity level more than the color the cloud appears. Certain birds almost always dissipate and take shelter within trees and shrubs just before it rains. So observation of birds can certainly help predict whether dark clouds mean precipitation. High winds often mean pressure changes, changing from one pressure zone to another. Low pressure zones less atmosphere above us. It's cooler and water condenses and forms clouds more easily. Eventually, these clouds release their moisture as precipitation. Higher pressures, just like a blanket or jacket keeps you warm, more air above you means warmer temperatures. Warmer air won't condense as easily and thus, Clouds don't build up enough moisture and the chance of precipitation is much less. Clouds that build up are in the evening act like a blanket holding the radiated heat within the atmosphere, making for warmer days, especially if these clouds dissipate during the day and the sun adds more radiated heat. If no clouds form at dawn or throughout the evening, the Earth loses its heat to the cold darkness of space. If clouds form early in the morning, these clouds block the radiated heat from the sun. Heat will not get absorbed by the Earth, and thus Earth will be much cooler during that day. So now you know more about atmospheric conditions. You know, being able to predict the weather without looking it up on your phone is why science is so wicked cool.